Kane, 103.7 FM. How's it going, Josh? Going very well, thank you. <laughs> Good. So what have you got up your sleeve for us? Uh, I've decided, I've been trying to, trying to decide between, I've got a new track which I released as part of my EP under Josh Whitehouse. Uh, there's a funny video online if you, oh, anyone yeah. wants to see it. Um, and then, I, But I decided that because I'm by myself today and I've not got a band with me, I'm going to play one of my older tunes again, which is uh, called Lady Lay. It's off the More Like Trees album. It's just okay, a little bit excellent. more raucous for you. Wicked. Yes, um, he's got a very great video online of him in a fez just being like, abused with paint. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, yeah. <laughs> All right, so here's Josh Whitehouse. <laughs> I think of before I go to sleep next to you But trust me, my love That's not the last thing you do And the look in your eye As we lie side by side A smile I'm tangled up in for you And it's certainly not A knot that I would ever run to So let's just pull it tighter Let's just pull it tighter So not even the feeling stuff nails off any use Shall we make it exciting? Let's make it exciting. Can't believe it, but not in the strongest of fabric blues. Lady, lady down. Lady, lady down, down. Shit. To are too friendly to every one of me and my family That's so sweet ba -ba -ba -bum. But trust me, my love of That's not the last thing you do Similarly as you do physically Have the ability to really really With the simple words of a few But trust me, my love That's not the last thing you do Thank you, Josh. That's all right. <laughs> that was great. I love, <clears throat> I love the arrangements in your songs. They just take, they take off. They're interesting. Yeah, I was, I, I kind of almost did it too much when I was young. I wrote that song such a long time ago. I actually wrote it with a guy called uh, Fran Franzowski that I used to be in a band with. Um, and yeah, I mean, I, I've, I've actually, as I've gotten older, I've started trying to gear towards keeping some of that in, but still like writing more like verses and choruses and bridges and yeah. kind of making like a full sort of song and have some of the madness in it. But um, yeah, 
my songs were definitely more all over the place when I was <laughs> a bit younger. So you play like quite percussively. Mm. Um, is there any particular guitarist that you sort of watch that gave yeah, you that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that stuff kind of stemmed from, again, back in the day when I was playing with Fram. And um, we used to watch Rodrigo Gabriela a lot. They're like a oh, yeah. Spanish flamenco duo that kind of do a lot of metal covers, a lot of Metallica <laughs> and stuff like that, but as a flamenco duo. Excellent. Um, and we used to study them and watch them on YouTube and try and figure out exactly what they were doing. <laughs> um, but then it kind of, you know, it developed into its own thing and my own sort of style in a way. Um, but then there's like people like uh, Jose Feliciano, which is like, a, he's a brilliant guitarist, but more old school. And Tommy Emmanuel and people like that. Uh, Paco de Lucia. Like a lot of flamenco guitarists and cla classical, cla <laughs> classical musicians. Yeah, really. So... <clears throat> um you wouldn't expect those sort of influences to come from somebody who's like from the UK, from up north, and like you know, there's so many different types of music that have come from that area, and so many inspiring people. Um, so, like, where does that come from? Is it your family? Uh, the Spanish elements of things, no, not really. I mean, when I was like, ever since I was little, I always thought that flamenco and Spanish guitar was kind of. Uh, incredibly cool and yeah. I didn't think that I'd ever be able to figure out how to do it but again when I was younger and I met Fran we sort of used to um, we used to get psyched about this kind of stuff together and he introduced me to like Rodrigo Gabriela for instance and mm. then you know through the power of YouTube you know you just start clicking and going through all these different <laughs> names and meet, finding all these different people and um, yeah it's friends and people around me really that sort of they, they, that showed me the influences that I needed to hear to hear what I wanted to through what I knew I liked, if that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, definitely, that makes sense. Mm. So at the moment, have your band or, you, like, your, yourself got any gigs lined up? Got one gig. Um, one gig, because I'm about to go away for a while, and um, we're playing... It's just me and my brother, so there's no bass, unfortunately, because Lachlan can't make it. Um, but we're playing at the Islington in London um, oh, on Tuesday the 13th of September. Um, we're supporting a guy called Josh Savage um, and he's got like his string section with him and everything uh, which I'm going to be jealous of and I think there's another band as well, Me and the Moon. Uh, so there's like a little lineup. Oh, cool. it starts at like 7.45. I think we're on at about 10 past 9, the night probably finishes about half 10, something like that. Excellent, sounds good. Yeah man.